Ahoy! That's too tacky. Is it tacky? I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. Either way, tonight we're going to talk about what does the lake look like? That's a question we see time and time again in the Chicago Boaters Facebook group. And it gets responses, everything from blue to wet to what the actual conditions are. So we're going to talk about why you can see that variety of responses and how you can actually figure out on your own without being at the lake using the sources that are available to you on the internet and other sources if the lake is safe for you to take your boat out on today and how to determine that there's a lot of different information out there we're going to look at everything from NOAA forecasts to wind maps to radar and everything in between so that when you want to take your friends and family out on the lake, you can make a safe, conscious decision and do it confidently without having to ask the hive mind, what's the lake look like? Now, if you're at home and you're wondering to yourself, what does the lake look like? First thing you want to look at, the marine forecast. This is issued by NOAA. It's updated regularly. And you can see this one was issued today, 3.06 p.m., Tuesday, August 16th. And it's a text forecast that talks about wind, wave height, and wind direction. And this is going to be the forecast for Wilmette Harbor to Northerly Island. They do, di they do forecasts for different sections as you move down the lake. So you're going to want to make sure you look at the one that's, a, that's the forecast for where you're going to be boating. Saying tonight, north winds around 20 knots, becoming northeast 5 to 15 knots which is a pretty big variable. Mostly clear, waves of three to five feet subsiding to two to four feet. Five feet's a pretty substantial wave. So if you're in a smaller boat, five feet is not for you. Even three feet's pushing it. Tells you what the forecast is the next couple days, Wednesday, Wednesday night, and Tuesday. Tu oh, sorry, Thursday. Thursday, we like this forecast. West winds around five knots. Becoming east, not great. Waves one foot or less. Wind speed and wind direction are important for when determining what the waves are going to be. If we look at a map of Chicago here on this wind map, we'll see that the lake is to the east of land. I hope all of you know that, otherwise we need to talk about how a compass works, which is a subject for a different video. When we're talking about wind direction, we're always talking about what direction is it coming from. So if you hear the someone say, or the forecast say, it's going to be a westerly breeze or the, it's going to be a west wind, it means the wind is coming from the west and it is going to the east. We love west winds here in Chicago. West is best, that's what we always say. And that's because when the wind is coming from the shoreline, it doesn't have time to build up waves. If you go two, three, four miles out on a 15 knot day, you'll have some big waves out there, or substantial waves I should say. If you're near shore, you're just gonna have some ripples on the surface of the water. The lake's gonna be very flat. So when we're looking at weather forecasts, especially for those of you who are in smaller boats, west is best. We love west winds. Now it's important to remember though, if you lose your engine or have some kind of mechanical failure on a west wind, that wind's taking you out into the lake. It's also important to remember if you've got swimmers in the water, high winds mean that they are gonna float and drift almost like there's a current. When we talk about other wind directions, northwest can be good. You still have that westerly component, depends on how much of that westerly component's in it. Southwest, also good. We're at that southern end of the lake, so even if it's a little bit more south and west, the fetch or the area for the waves to build up isn't that big. When we start clocking around and we start talking about east, that's where we start to have problems. If we look at this map here, it's about 70 miles 60 miles in some parts, depends on exactly where you measure from, from the Michigan shoreline to where we are. So when you're talking about an east wind, that's 60 to 70 miles for those waves to build up before they reach us. Even worse, we talk about north. We zoom out more and you can see the whole length of the lake. If we've got a north or a northeast breeze, it's got nearly 200, 250 miles for that wind and wave to build up. So when you see on the news about those massive waves out on Lake Michigan, dollars to donuts it's going to be a northeast day winds coming out of the northeast it's blowing 15 to 20 25 30 and that's where you get those massive massive rollers we're looking at a website called predict wind predict wind offers free and paid forecasts for all over the globe they also allow you to look at several different models 
So when we're looking at a wind forecast, we can see if different models come up with different answers for what the wind is gonna be on any given day. So let's take this slider at the bottom here and we're gonna move it to Saturday at noon. Now, full disclosure, right now it is 641 on Tuesday, August 16th, and we're looking ahead to Saturday, August 20th. So if I was gonna plan my weekend activities, this is probably a little bit far out than when I would. I usually start looking Wednesday night, Thursday, and then by Friday, I've got a pretty good idea of what the wind is gonna look like. So as we look at this map here, we're looking at two different models. The first model here is ECWMF, that's the European forecasting model, and then PWG, which is Predict Wind's own model that's basically compiling a couple different models together. So I usually like to look at two different models and see, are they saying the same thing, or are they saying two completely different things? If they're both saying the same thing, then you can be fairly confident that that forecast is gonna be correct. So if you move around the screen here, we can see I'm zoomed in on the playpen, for example, because that's where all of you want to go anyways. And we're looking, it's going to be south. We can see the direction of those wave of those wind icons on the map are moving up. So they're moving down from the south up to the north. So we would call that a south breeze. And if you look at the speed, if we look at this gauge down here at the bottom with the colors, we can see that blue, light blue is somewhere between five to 10 miles an hour, or in this case, we're talking knots. 5 to 10 knots, very light. At that speed, pretty much any direction in the lake is going to be very flat. But it's going to be especially flat if we're talking south or we're talking anything with a westerly component to it. So for right now, Saturday is looking like a good day to be out. Even out here on the lake, we've got Diversity Harbor here, we've got Belmont Harbor here, there's Burnham, that's Monroe. And we look out on the lake, it looks like it's going to be a little bit southeast and a little bit light which means it's not going to be great for us blow boaters. We're going to be kind of drifting, but it's going to be great for everybody else because the lake should be nice and calm. Now that we're done looking at predict wind, let's look at a couple other sources you can look at for wind. One spot we can look for that I look all the time, especially when I'm trying to figure out what's happening on the water right now, is I'll pull up what's called the Harrison Deaver Crib. This is a link you can find on the internet. I'll post all the links to these in the section below the video. This gives us a couple great pieces of information. Number one, right here, it gives us the wind speed, 15.4 knots, okay? What the max wind speed is, so what it's been gusting to, the wind direction, due north, we don't like that. We don't like 15 and due north, that's usually pretty wavy. It gives us the air temperature out on the lake, which is usually cooler than it is on land. And then it also gives us some awesome webcam images that we can pull up and make bigger, and you can actually get an idea of what the lake actually looks like, which goes back to our original question, what does the lake look like? So if we look at this image here, we zoom in, we can see there's white caps starting to form. White caps tend to form around 12, 13 knots of breeze. So we know there must be some significant wave action building because we're seeing these white caps start to build. Now that doesn't mean that on a 45 foot sea ray or 35 foot sailboat that you're going to have a bad time out there. It just means there is going to be some, some waves. It does mean that maybe on a smaller boat like an 18 foot bow rider, I wouldn't leave the harbor today. It'd be easy for that boat to be overcome by a wave. So this is one great tool you can use. Again, I'll link to it in the comment section of the video. Another great tool that just launched last year is the Chicago Pier Buoy. And the Chicago Pier Buoy is located about two miles off of Navy Pier, and it gives you a lot of great information. So it gives us what the water temperature is, which we'll get to how, that, how the wind affects that in a little bit. It tells us what the wind speed is, what the wind gust is, pretty comparable to what we just saw in the Harrison Deaver crib. It also tells us wave height. So this is a great resource if you're interested in knowing what the wave height's gonna be. Right now, the wave height is three feet, and the wave period, which is the amount of time between the crest of waves, is 4.1 seconds. Now that's pretty short. So that tells us that when we hit these waves, we're gonna be bouncing like this. They're not gonna be gentle waves that we go up and then come down the other side of. They're gonna be fast and close together. 
The other good information it tells us is humidity, tells us the atmospheric pressure is, which we'll get into that a different day and how you can forecast weather with that. And then it also gives us that wind direction. So this is saying a little bit, little bit northwest, but almost due north. And then it also does give you a webcam video. So you can actually click on this video and it'll start playing and it'll give you an idea of what the waves look like out there. So this is another great site you can use when you're trying to figure out what does the lake look like. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is your good old fashioned run of the mill weather forecast. What you see on your phone under Apple Weather, or if you use the Weather Channel, AccuWeather, whichever one you like. We're going to talk about how we interpret that for boating. So number one, if you live out in the suburbs, you don't want to be using that forecast. Or you live way south on the south side of the city or way west on the west side of the city. We want to look at the weather forecast for as close to the lake as possible. So you're going to put in a zip code that is near your harbor and where you're going to be boating. For me, I use the zip code for Lakeview, which is 60657, and I use AccuWeather. I don't think it's necessarily any better or worse than any of the other forecast sites out there. It's just the one I've used the longest, so I'm used to it. And if we look, it gives us obviously the basics. Temperature, it gives us wind speed, although this is more of a shore-based wind speed, not necessarily what the lake is doing. So I don't typically pay attention to this. What I do pay attention to is what's in the forecast for rain, sun, temperature, all those good things. Now, the next thing that's important, and there's a ton of different apps you can use for this. I usually have two or three that I'll kind of compare notes with. But we're looking at radar. So when we look at radar, we're looking at rain and severe weather. Luckily, right now, there's nothing over here in Illinois or Iowa or Wisconsin that is developed that looks like it's moving towards us. So tonight, pretty good chance it's going to be clear. Here in the Midwest, our weather patterns move west to east. So we're always going to be looking out here towards Iowa, the western half of Illinois, sometimes up in Wisconsin, sometimes down here in Missouri. Weather typically moves west to east. It can move southwest to northeast. It can move northwest to southeast. It can move all sorts of different ways, but the general direction is that west to east motion. When we're looking at radar, we're looking at these green cells, which mean medium to light rain, these yellow cells, which mean a mm, little bit stronger. And if we look here in the center of this, it starts to turn red. Anytime you see bright red, that means heavy, concentrated storm activity. That can be rain, that can be high winds, that can be all hail, can be all sorts of different things. So whenever we're out on the water, we should always be looking at the weather. And just because when we leave at 9 a.m. and there's nothing on the radar, especially on a hot day in the summer, it doesn't mean that by noon the radar is going to say it's the same thing. There's lots of times where you get a really hot day out west and you'll start to see storms develop out by DeKalb, Aurora, west of Schaumburg, and you'll see these storms that weren't over here near the Mississippi River, but they start to crop up over here, and then all of a sudden they come towards Chicago. So even though we look at the weather in the morning and it looks good and clear, it's a good idea as a proper mariner to continually check the weather every couple hours while you're out on the water. So we're getting ready to leave the harbor, First thing we need to do, check our weather forecast. What does it say if we haven't done that already before we left the house? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look around and see what the wind is actually doing where we are. Now, there's a couple easy ways to do this. Boats on mooring balls or anchors are always gonna point into the breeze. They may oscillate a little bit left and right, but you're gonna see if you have a field of them, they're all pointing from the direction the wind is coming from. Next thing you can do is you can look at a flag. Take a look, see if there's a flag nearby. There's usually just one on a boat or up on a flagpole is best because you get a little bit higher so you get a clear representation of the breeze. See what the wind is doing. If you're watching this video and you're still thinking, what does the lake look like today? Okay, not a problem. Ask some questions below. Was there a concept I talked about that you didn't understand? Was there something I didn't talk about that you'd like to learn about? Comment below and both myself and other boaters in this group will be happy to answer those questions for you. 
Boaters Helping Boaters is about educating people on how to be safe on the water and have a good time boating. Ultimately, the two most important things in boating are safety and having fun. If we're not having fun, what are we doing out here? But to have fun, we gotta be safe. Looking at weather and being able to determine if it's safe for you to take your boat out with your friends and family is an important part of being safe on the water. As the boat captain, skipper, operator, you are legally responsible for the safety of that boat and everybody on it. So if you're looking at the weather forecast and thinking, I don't know, maybe it's not gonna be a great weekend. It may not be, but ask that question. Preface it with the fact that you've looked at the forecast, but you're still having questions. We'll be happy to chime in and answer those questions. We just don't wanna do your homework for you.